Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today we're gonna be playing some more Stardew Expanded. And last time we discovered what Camilla's test was, and not only did we discover it, but we passed it, and we passed it so easily. I'm so talented. And since doing that, I've been feeling a bit aimless. I'm like, what's the goal here? What am I doing anymore? Am I going to Castle Village? Like, what's, what's the dealio? So I think today, yeah, look at that juicy hatred. I'm gonna spend the day doing all the things that I should be doing that I constantly neglect doing, like, like this. I never collect these jade. They're just in such a horrible location. I don't know who put those there. Our surgeon pond has been doing pretty well. We have two surgeons in there now, not just one. And if we can get a caviar from them, we will be in business. We will finish the missing bundle, unlock the theater. I just find that when I play the Stardew Expanded mod, there's just so much new content to see that I get so carried away in it. And I kind of forget to engage with the older content, like gifting villagers and finishing the museum. So I kind of want to do a little bit of that. That stuff today take a step back but yeah I think we should make that a priority for today just get some of that stuff done and see what happens while we're doing it you never really know <gasps> hi Victor yeah okay I'm gonna walk away now is it anybody's birthday it's Olivia fudge nugget unfortunately Olivia has some uh, refined tastes we'll say okay fine you can have a gold bar it's not perfect but it'll do Olivia oh. Olivia 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 Sweet. Happy birthday, Olivia. Sorry I broke your son. I hope you have a good day, though. What did that get for us? Oh my god, we're full hearts with Olivia. No freaking way. <gasps> uh. You know what I want, too? I want a horse. Like, this sucks, walking around. Why don't I already have a horse? Okay, let's go get our horse stable and then keep giving out some gifts. Oh, Robin doesn't work on Tuesdays. This is actually the worst experience. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. The switcheroo. Yes. Okay, construct farm buildings, and we're gonna go with a stable. Oh, right here. That would be so cute. Now, Susan's loved gives. Oh my gosh, Susan cutscene. Would you look at the size of my babies, Charlie? I've never seen cauliflower so big. That fertilizer is really something else, honey. I wish my farm were this bountiful. <laughs> Follow me inside for a sec. I want to share something with you. I learned something new today, and I want to return the favor. I received Susan's patented fermentation method. Beer, meat, and pale ale are now more valuable. She trusted me with this. Whoa! And I'm popular. Really quick, I want to thank today's sponsor in a game that I'm really excited for called Nest Heads. Now in this game, you are the main character and you essentially have to defeat the mayor, which is a personification of your dark side and save your mind. So basically you need to save you from you, which it's a bit heady, but it's such a cool concept. The game itself is an open world adventure game that draws from real psychological principles. Like the world map is literally based on the brain's anatomy and the NPCs represent your everyday thoughts. Obviously as a biologist, I'm super into it and it's just a really fun and seamless integration of video games and learning about self-improvement. It is seriously so cool. Concepts like building habits, beliefs, and achieving your dreams are turned into clever mini games where you smelt habit ore, grow bee leaf plants to obtain loot, and literally catch your dreams with a fishing rod on the journey to balance your head and free your mind. The Kickstarter for Nest Heads is actually launching today, January 3rd, so if the concept interests you, definitely click the link in the description below and go check it out. Another huge thank you to Nest Heads, and without further ado, let's get back to the video. Oh, oh another cutscene. Okay, back to back. Oh, it's because I donated the fertilizer to her a couple episodes ago. That is so cool. I'm refreshing my little guys with patented homemade fertilizer. Just add sunshine, water, and some love, and you've got yourself a profitable season. Writing that down, taking notes, taking aggressive notes. Emerald Farm is small in comparison to Oat Farm. That's literally not true. How are you able to keep up with all that land? Honestly, it's because I don't put anything on it. Like, yeah, I have a lot of land, but there's no crops or anything. I don't even take care of my animals. The way you handle running a farm that big makes me feel motivated to chase bigger dreams. Oh, oh God, if only she knew. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a little strange. Okay, cool, thank you. Glad I just gave you that priceless Iridium bar. <laughs> I am really working my little patukis off just to get everybody's friendship up. A dino egg for Sir Gunther. I'm fluent in several languages, including Dwarvish. One must understand different languages to unravel the secrets of the past. That's very mysterious, I love that. So in terms of our collection, as of now, we have almost all the minerals. We just need these few ones. And then we have almost all the artifacts too, wow. Oh, we got one, okay. 
Oh, we actually got two things. I didn't even notice. Here, some more little discoveries to change the world for you. Now, in terms of the collection, I have three things left to get. Okay. Hopefully they're in one of these 60 geodes I have left. Oh, <gasps> that dip. That's one. This is actually exhilarating. I'm having such a good time. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Now all we need is malachite. Please. You've broken my heart. You've broken my heart. You've shattered it into pieces. I can't believe you. We literally only need this one. I don't have any more Omni Geodes though, so for now I'm gonna head to Ginger Island, see if Gus is there. I am- I am praying. And then I might have to go to Skull Caverns at some point to get more Omni Geodes because I- I literally have none. Please Gus, please, 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 Gus, please, 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 please. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, it's so pretty today. <gasps> and I have so many batteries. Please tell me. How many do I have? None? Do I really have none? Wait, there's more? I have 131 Omni Geodes in here, what the heck? Okay, first things first, I gotta toss my batteries in here. 11, I still need 9 batteries. Just one more thunderstorm, and we'll finally have Grandpa's shed done. And that has been a goal of ours since literally the first day. Oh yes, the tea leaf cutscene! That is fantastic news. That means that we're gonna be getting the recipe for green tea leaves. And with those tea leaves, I can make green tea. And with that green tea, I can befriend Claire, who I don't necessarily like all that much, but hey, maybe I'll like her more when I befriend her. Okay, first actual order of business. We need to open some... Where's Clint? He's at frickin' Ginger Island. Oh, <laughs> that loser. Oh my gosh, Morgan's hanging out with the traveling merchant? That's so cute. I drank a really weird elixir to strengthen my bond with the forest spirits. You drank one too? Yes, the one that tasted like dirt! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have so much in common. I love you. Ooh, a fish taco? <gasps> Farmer's lunch? Whole sl oh, complete breakfast? That's Alex's loved gift? Wow, that was actually kind of banger in terms of gifts. 15 tea saplings. That is so good. There. Perfect. Oh my god. I totally forgot we have a horse now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna name him... Patoodle. Oh, this is fantastic. We're so speedy now. I am so glad to have this horse. I love you, Patoodle. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. That's the one we need. That means we're done with the mineral collection. The final mineral. Now we just need to get four artifacts, and with the amount of Omni Geodes we have left, we could probably get a fair amount of the artifact troves from the Desert Trader. That'll definitely be something we have to do soon. Oh my gosh, I just went to the Highlands to give Lance a gift, and suddenly there's a cutscene. Charlie, welcome back! Head on up here! Oh, oh my god, okay, okay, okay. I'm conducting a field study today, would you care to join me? Yes, the jump for joy I did in this game is how I feel in real life. I'll cast a protection spell that'll prevent monsters from noticing us. That is so cool. I'm crying. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. Aww. All the monsters are kind of cute. This is so fun. This is actually what I studied in college. Just ecology. You stand in a field and you watch animals just like this. Lance and I are meant to be. There's magic aquatic creatures who live in these waters called gemfish. They're unfortunately resistant to my magic though, so I've never caught one. Me either, I only catch twigs out of this place. The protection spell has run its course. Oh? What are those noises? <laughs> Suddenly there's like a monster orchestra. Thanks for helping me with my research today. I hope you learned something new. That was so freaking adorable. I loved that. The ecologist in me, the lance lover in me, Every- every part of me is just so happy. It was a pleasure you joined my field study. I usually conduct them alone. Oh my gosh. I am just- I can't stop smiling. I am just so chuffed. What was I even doing? I don't remember. Okay, let's check and see whose birthdays are this week because I don't want to miss anybody. We have Andy, Pierre, and Emily. Andy should be super easy. We can get him a butterfish. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Pierre's calamari. We'll see. Oh my gosh, it's Martin. Have a fruit. Oh, okay. He hated the fruit. I should have looked that up first. Whoops. Oh my gosh, another cutscene. Oof. I'm finishing up an iridium-infused sword for a monster hunter in Castle Village. You might have heard of him. He goes by the name Scyther. That is so freaking dope. Oh my god. Castle Village is home to the best monster slayers and artisans in the world. Oh my gosh, I the fact that Clint makes the weapons for them... That shakes me. Right now, I'm not getting any orders from the Adventurer Guild here in Stardew Valley. 
I'm not brave enough to fight monsters, but I do what I can to ensure the safety of those who do. That's why I pride myself on my smithing work. Wow. I must say, the fact that they added not only cutscenes for the expanded villagers, but also additional cutscenes for the regular vanilla Sardu villagers is just amazing. Like, every time I watch one of those extra cutscenes like that, it just- oh, okay, here's another. <laughs> Hey Charlie, nice to see you. I just finished my hike. It's gorgeous up here. Would be easy to get used to sites like these. So what brings you up here? Um, I have guild business to do. Being back home just isn't the same for me. The person I was before my tour isn't coming back. Oh no. I think what would really help is if I found something to focus on so my mind doesn't wander so much. A hobby, maybe. I have a question for you. Do you think the guild is worth checking out? Um, yes? Oh my gosh. I never even put that together. He would be such a good guild member. Oh my, yes. I'll consider it. That would be, that would be the perfect fit for you, Ken. I literally didn't even think of that. These cutscenes, I swear. Oh? Go in. Yes! Yes, Kent, yes. Oh my god, I'm so here for it. Is Kent in there now, do you think? I wonder. No, but oh my gosh. Charlie, we have a new guild member. His name is Kent. He seems fond of you. Do you know each other? He actually did it. Oh my god. I love this mod so much. It really just makes Stardew feel so full of life in a way that it normally doesn't. Okay, I'm in the highlands now. I want to go catch one of the daggerfish to give to Lance because we are one heart away from being at eight hearts, which means we are one heart away from potentially maybe dating Lance. And I am so excited. Okay. 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 Perfect. Love gift for Lance acquired. Now I just have to make it to Lance alive. Lance. I put my life on the line to get this fish for you. You better love it. Oh, you're down there? Now I have to put my life on the line to give the fish to you. You're surrounded, my guy. Oh, no, no. Why aren't the citronella candles working? There we go. Look at Lance and I's friendship right now. One heart. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is Andy's birthday, and Andy loves butterfish, so we've got to get him a butterfish, of course. Oh, there's new missions. One of them is for Andy. I'm looking to have a cellar built under my house for preserve jars. Anyone kind enough to help me out? I'm scared, but I'll do it. 500 wood, 75 hardwood, stone, iron. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I can totally do that, and it's probably gonna end up resulting in a cutscene, so it'll be a birthday present to him. Before I go to community day, I'm just gonna go give Lance a gift real fast. One moment. Here you go. I'm still mad at you, Camilla. And I expect to find out what I get for finishing that test you gave me last time. I expect to see it soon. Good day. Okay, community day time. Oh, it's so cute. This is actually so convenient for giving gifts. An emerald for you. A butterfish for you. Hi, Victor. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. Okay, I think we gave out all the gifts we could for now. Let's see, how are we doing friendship-wise? One heart away for Demetrius, two for Kent. Wow, we are actually making some really substantial progress. A lot of people have at least half hearts now. Okay, so it turns out that tomorrow is actually Andy's birthday, which works out well because we can bring him these materials. And we need 500 wood, 75 hardwood, 500 stone, and 15 iron bars. So the only thing that we're going to need to work on is those iron bars. But we do have the materials to make more. It's just about kind of like standing here and doing it. <laughs> what the... There's a lot of strange noises occurring. Oh my gosh, is that Krobus and Apples? You're filled with energy today, little one. Oh my god. I followed Krobus and the Junimo, but I got lost in the woods. Luckily, I found my way back. Maybe I should speak with Krobus later. <gasps> speak with Krobus about what? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Yes, perfect. There he is, the big man himself. Happy birthday, Andy. I have a fish for you. All right, and as an additional birthday surprise, I will be giving you the materials for your basement. Hardwood, stone, iron, and regular wood. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Thank you. Oh, what is he doing? Hey there, farmer. You caught me in the midst of foraging. Say, you busy? I have some things to talk with you about. Ooh, what kind of things? 
You know, I tried talking Mayor Lewis into letting the other farmers and I take over your grandpa's farm. It was good land being left to spoil. You showed up out of nowhere and took it over. Been doing a yoba darn good job, too. Thank you. I haven't, but thank you. What I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. Oh my god! Stop! I could cry! At first, I thought you'd move out of the valley because you couldn't handle the farm work. City kid, going from that office job to farming is a radical change in lifestyle. But you didn't. I can tell you're passionate about farming as best you can. You've brought more commerce to the valley with the publicity of Oat Farm. All the farmers are selling more as a result. I suppose what I'm really trying to say here is... Thank you. Thank you for inspiring me to be a better person and giving Fairhaven Farm more business. It's helped my life more than you know. I love Andy so much. Oh. My goodness. Andy! Have an excellent day, farmer. Keep up all the good work you're always doing. Andy! I may just shed a tear. I love this mod. I never expected it to be like this, but it has touched my heart in a way that I cannot express. I am so happy right now. And now I have to go see Krobus, like it's not even over yet. Oh my goodness. Wait. Gus is gone. Gus is gone. Gus is gone. This is not a drill. Head to Ginger Island right now. Giddy up, Patoodle. Giddy up. This can't be. This can't be. Stop. And it isn't. What? Okay, maybe he's coming because it's only 1.30 now and I think he comes at 2. Maybe he's in the changing room or something, you know? He's not here? Gus, come on, man. That's okay, we still have talking to Krobus to look forward to. I'm actually genuinely curious about what he has to say. Hello. What was I doing deep in the woods? I was playing with a forest spirit. My little friend showed me their village. I know I'm not welcomed in the town, too many humans, but I can leave the sewers through the southern pipe to visit the village. It's a short and discreet walk to the woods. That was it? That was everything? Well, that wasn't that interesting. That's still kind of cool that Krobus is friends with the Junimos in the village. It kind of just connects everything more. Gus, there you are. You were in the community garden, weren't you? I believed in you so much, and I was so excited. And now... I am unhappy. Oh, hey, Charlie. I got lucky in a raffle and landed myself a lifetime supply of Joja Cola. These will keep your energy up while you're working on 50. Andy, found something in the midst of organizing my house. Drop on by and I'll show you. Oh my God, Andy, you don't have to give me things. What am I gonna do with 50 Joja Cola? Like Sam only needs so many. All right, that is where we're gonna be ending off for today, but just wow. I feel like because this mod is so big, I've gotten really caught up with going to new places and meeting new people, learning magic. So I was really, really happy to spend this episode just taking a step back and getting to know everybody a little better. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. All right, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.